The man suspected of murdering a mother and her little girl faced a judge today. Kara 7 South Sound reporter Shelby Miller spoke with people who knew the victims in Olympia. And Shelby, this is truly horrifying. Yeah, Monique, this is heartbreaking, and the details in these court documents are gruesome. Detectives say evidence connects Nicholas Denham to the crimes. This shouldn't have happened. It is a senseless, gruesome, heinous crime. A beautiful mother and her innocent little girl, the victims of terrible violence. Friday, their suspected killer faced a judge. It is truly despicable and horrific what has happened in this case. Heartbroken, family and friends can't believe Charlene Van Auken and her little girl Zoe are gone. I just want everybody to know that Charla and Zoe were amazing. They were angels, and for any, anybody who to do this to her and her child is evil. Detectives say 31-year-old Nicholas Denham murdered the 34-year-old mother and her 4-year-old child. Autopsies aren't finished, but in court, the state said Van Auken had been shot in the head. It's just devastating, like my friend. I was with her last week, you know, and it can happen anywhere. You know, I just really think that we have to keep each other safe. The Thurston County Sheriff's Office says the two were killed sometime between Monday night and Tuesday morning. Investigators believe Denham dumped their bodies on this old logging road off Puget Beach Road Northeast. Hikers discovered them Tuesday evening. There is definitely visible trauma. Um, to the victims. It took some tough police work, but detectives identified the bodies and named Denham as their prime suspect. Officers arrested him Thursday evening. They say he has a history of violence and dated Van Auken off and on for a couple years. Van Auken's friends can't understand why he would kill her and her little girl. One of the last things she said is like, allow like pain to make your light shine brighter. And I just, I believe that like her light and Zoe's light are like shining. Denham is being held without bail right now in the Thurston County Jail. He's scheduled to be back in here for his arraignment March 24th. Reporting live in Olympia, Shelby Miller, Cairo 7 News.